We're seeing an exponential growth and rise in NAS. So we've seen that in the past decade, there's been an almost 15 times increase in the rate of NAS in Ontario, and that's using sort of Ontario health data. They are the youngest and innocent faces behind the opioid crisis. Babies with NAS, neonatal abstinence syndrome. It's when babies are exposed to drugs in uterus and born addicted. I was using um, fent fentanyl when I got pregnant with my first child and continued to use it through like, the whole pregnancy. And then uh, when I gave birth, obviously I told them, and then Children's Aid got involved and wanted me and the father to get clean and everything, but my parents ended up with full custody of them. And then we both got on the methadone program. After that, I got pregnant with this one, and I was sort of u using morphine through, like, not through the whole thing, but through part of it. 25-year-old Amanda Struhar has two sons, two-year-old Liam and two-month-old Silas. Both babies were born with NAS, had to be hospitalized at birth, and put on morphine. My first child, he was in the NICU for about nine days. They sent him home and we weaned him off ourselves. This one, he was in there for a day. Liam and Silas aren't the only babies who were born with opioid related drug addictions. According to the Canadian Institute for Health Information, from 2015 to 2016, 1,744 babies in Canada were hospitalized with NAS. 927 of those babies were in Ontario. Dr. Maya Nader runs a program out of St. Michael's Hospital that deals with substance abuse and pregnancy, and she's noticed a dramatic jump. Although this program is relatively new, we're noticing an increase in, in street use and obviously fentanyl, which is a, a big one. Some side effects of NAS include diarrhea, constant crying and seizures. There could also be long-term health impacts. There's been some studies linking sort of opioid exposure in utero and then neonatal abstinence syndrome to sort of a difficulty in childhood, especially with learning. Treating NAS has also become quite costly. So I worry that, you know, if this continues to exponentially climb, we might not have the resources available to treat all these babies, and that's really what I'm concerned about. As for this mom, her focus is now on getting better. Amanda has been in the methadone program for the last two years and her long-term goal is to become a healthy mother. Here at St. Mike's Hospital, Stella Cuisto, City News.